And in 1775, Congress looked upon America and said, we need a better postal system. So Congress appointed Benjamin Franklin as the first postmaster general and commenced a legacy of postal carriers. Congress said it needs somebody to deliver mail across this massive country by horse, boat, train, truck, and plane, haul packages of great importance and weight, and do so tirelessly to ensure speed of service. To reach the far and desolate remote corners of this land others are unwilling to venture upon. So Congress made postal carriers. Congress said it needs somebody to deliver with speed no matter the conditions, somebody tough enough to weather the blistering heat and the chilling blizzards, power through the sun and humidity, trudge through the wind and rain. So Congress made postal carriers. Congress said we need people from every race, creed, color, religion, cultural background, and natural origin. Men and women smart enough to deliver over half a billion packages a day, pick up, sort, and process 23 million pieces of mail each hour, and do so without a single tax dollar. So Congress made postal carriers. Congress said I need somebody committed enough to wake each morning, lace up their shoes, and walk from door to door to connect Americans with the world for the small price of a stamp. To be strong enough to ensure gifts, notes of love and praise, periodicals and paychecks are lifted onto shoulders and protected along their journey. So Congress made postal carriers. Congress said I need a team to work day and night, motivated not by their salaries, but by the smiles of Americans from coast to coast. A team full of joy and happiness despite the occasional customer unwilling to wait in line. A team bonded in an American system, which despite its flaws that many organizations face, has been built with over 230 years worth of service championed by dedicated and loyal individuals. So Congress made postal carriers.